Jose na mwari ni nguwa ya ka Ni nguwa ya kanaka ni nguwa ya kuna mata Thank you so much For joining in It has been a long time since we Since we had our session in this place I believe at the end of this session someone is going to get help and someone is going to be encouraged. We thank you so much for con for your continued support and praying for us. Please continue to pray. Men ought always to pray. I'm very I was, I was a bit tired, but I said I should go and encourage someone. So the main reason why I'm here today is just to encourage someone who is about to give up. And uh, I might not be here for everyone. But there's one that, there's that person who is saying, Man of God, I'm tired, I don't know what to do. Uh, all hope is gone. And uh, because I've tried all that I know to do, but there seems to be no breakthrough for me. I just want to encourage someone who's an emoyo wa pukanyika, an who has no one to cry to. I just want to tell you that there's hope for the living. I want to tell you and assure you that God loves you. You might be alone. You might think you're alone. You might think things are not going according to your expectation. And everything around you is telling you that you are a loser, you are a failure. And But I'm here to just to encourage that person that God loves you. God loves you so much and after the end of this session you are going to see the love of God. I don't believe in just speaking the word. I also believe in the manifestation of the word. In people's lives. I thank God for all the testimonies that we have been receiving. There are so many testimonies that we are receiving. I was in the mountain last week. I was praying for some of you that I am in touch with. Those that have been sending their prayer request. And I am just thanking God for the testimonies that are coming through. It gives us the strength to continue to pray and to encourage each other. So I'm just here to encourage someone. I'm just here to encourage someone who was about to give up. Never give up in this life. You can't come this far to give up. You can't come this far to give up. It's too, it's too, it's too, it's too late for you to give up. You can't give up. I want to encourage someone tonight and at the end of this session, I want the Lord to touch you, to touch your life. Touch your every area that needs the hand of God. You know, sometimes we, 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 I was just teaching yesterday that never in your lifetime judge people if you do not know what they are going through, if you do not know what follows them behind the scene. As you see, men are at the mess of spirits. Men are the mess of the spirits. Uh, that means. As much as you can see a person, there are so many things that follow people behind the scene. And if you do not know their story, you may judge them or you may have a wrong perception about them. But tonight I just want to encourage someone and at the end of this prayer, it was, as I was in the mountain, uh, I, was, I, was, I was moved to pray for people that are barren. So in case I forget, let me just give this announcement. I'm going to be praying for barren people. I'm going to be praying for barren people. Uh, specifically those who do not have children and you have, they are desiring to have a child. Or those who have got only one child and having another child has become difficult. I'm going to pray for these two categories of people. You are barren. You are barren. You have no child. Or you've got, a, you've got one child. But having another child is proving to be difficult. I want you to call me. I'm going to pray for those people. But I'm going to pray for those people. 
you are barren, you have no child, or you've got one child and having another child is becoming a problem. I want you to cope. So let us go to the word of God and I'm going to encourage you and you are going to pray. And it came to pass when David, this is uh, 1 Samuel chapter 30, 1 Samuel chapter 30 from verse 1. And it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziklag on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south and, the, and, and Ziklag and smitten Ziklag and bent it. And they had taken the women captives that were therein. They slew not any, either great or small, but carried them away and went on their way. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burned with fire, and their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captives. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no power to weep. Uh, they wept until they had no power to uh, that, the Bible says until they had no power until they had no more power to weep all power was gone they cried and cried until as much as they wanted to cry there was no power in them to cry again <coughs> then And Death's two wives were taken captives, Ainom the Jesuits, and Abigail the wife of Nabal the Camelite. And Death was greatly distressed for the people spake stoning him. The people spake of stoning him, because they saw of what the people was grieved, every man for his sons and for his daughters. But Death encouraged himself in the Lord, his God. And Death said to Abiathar the priest, Ab Ahimelech said, I pray thee, bring me hither the effort. And Abiathar brought hither the effort to David. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after his troop, after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, For thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fail recover all. Kune ya emuru memu nunti deviti. Aka inda kuhondori nge gore. Bata achi zoka kaka shika. Kutarake la pisu kwa wana wake ni mazimae hake watowa. Junozi wana waka tanga kutawra nyaya ya kumutaka na matombo. Ndova. Before that baka wana when he discovered that the city was burnt. They cried. As I say today, I'm not going to be talking much of other things, the weapons of warfare or the legalities and technicalities of warfare. I'm just going to encourage someone who is going through a hard time. You are going through a hard time and everyone is against you. And people are labeling you. People are calling you all sorts of names. People are telling you that you are a failure. People are telling you that you should not have done that move. You see, you went to that job. You were supposed to remain in this job. You see what you did. You started that business. You are not supposed to start that business. And everything seems to be coming against you. In you even to cry. As much as you feel, as much as you cry. But you feel there is no more power. There is no more strength in you to Speaking to such a person, someone is telling you you should not have done that because of what you've done. They are blaming you for what is happening around your life. It seems as if you are you are you are you are being blamed for what is happening in your life. But I want to I want to assure you something today. When David cried, there's one thing that now he did that separates this David from a lot of us. A lot of us when we cry, we cry and we cry. And we do not have time, we do not take time to go into prayer. But when David was distressed, he cried as a human being, it is not to cry. Don't feel bad when you cry, it is no more to cry. When he cried, but the one thing that he then did was to go to God to inquire, to, to inquire from God. He says, God, you see what, is, what I'm facing. 
Everyone is against me. My family members are against me. My kinsmen are against me. Everyone who has believed in me before is against me. Everyone that I know have been they are against me. But then he said, this troop. And the Lord said to him, Pursue, and you shall overtake, and you shall surely recover all. The reason why the man was distressed is because everything that he has labored for, everything that he that brought life, that brought the meaning of life to him was taken away from him. I might be speaking today to a man who have been fired from work. I might be speaking to someone who have been divorced. I might be speaking to someone, your children are misbehaving. Everything around you is just seems to be against you. But I don't want you to give, <coughs> I don't want you to be tired or to lose hope in that situation. I'm encouraging you to go on your knees and begin to uh, and to begin to inquire from God and say, God, you know what is around me, you know everything that is going around in my life. But I come to you because you are the only source of my hope. I come to you because my help comes from you. My help does not come from my family members, my help does not come from the nation that I'm in, my help does not come from the government. My help comes from you and he went in to inquire. He went into the place of prayer and he began to pray. As he was praying and the Lord responded to him. And the Lord said, I want you to pursue, you shall pursue, you shall overtake and you shall recover all. Those children that are misbehaving, if you go on your knees, the Lord is, is going to give you victory. That job that you have lost, if you go on your knees, the Lord is going to give you victory. The Lord promises that you are going to recover all. So you might be tired. You might be tired. There are so many things that are taking, there are so many things that are taking away your strength. There are so many things that are draining you. You feel you have no power anymore to continue. You feel tired. You feel exhausted. You feel discouraged. You feel frustrated. You still feel disappointment. You, you, you feel disappointed. You feel frustrated and betrayed. But there is only hope in God. I, of all the things that are happening in your life, I don't want you to give. I don't want you to give up. Never give up. Never give up. Never give up on your faith. God loves you so much that he can't let you die. God, it is the pleasure of God to see your situation turn around. It is the pleasure of God to see your situation turn around. You might not be having enough cash today to pay for your rent house. You might not be having enough cash to pay for your bills. You might not be having enough cash today to sponsor all the things that you want to do. But I don't want you to give, I don't want you to give up on yourself. I don't want you to give up on yourself. There's a lion that is lying in you. And I'm here to quicken that lion. May the lion in you begin to roar. May the lion in you begin to roar. I want you to pursue your dreams. I want you to pursue your dreams. It seems as if you cannot longer pursue your dreams anymore because of time, because of what is happening in your life, because of what people have told you, because everything that was meant to support and to give you an advantage seems to be running away from you. But there's hope for you. I want you to use your I want you to use this opportunity today and enter into prayer as we are going to pray. I'm not going to be teaching much today. I just want us to pray. I came here to do, I just wanted to encourage someone who is giving up, we have got no strength, we are saying everything, man of God is standing upside down, I no longer see the light, I no longer see uh, me coming up out again, there is hope for you, and tonight we are about to pray, I want you to say thank you Jesus for the day, thank you for your love today, thank you for your grace, thank you for your message that I know every morning, thank you that you loved me Thank you that you, your love is from everlasting to everlasting. Thank you that your messages are new every morning. Thank you that as far as the east is from the west, so far have you removed my transgressions from me. Thank God to say to him, as the heavens are high above the earth, so great are your messages toward those who fear you. I want you to thank God for his message that endures forever. I want you to thank God for his love towards you. I want you to thank God for his blood that speaks better things than the blood of you. Thank you, Jesus.
Jesus for your loving kindness. I want you to say thank you God for your love, for your patience with me. I want you to say thank you Jesus for your loving kindness. I want you to say thank you Jesus for you have not given up on me. I want you to say thank you Jesus for the spirit that you have given us. For Jesus says it is expedient or it is to your advantage that I go to the Father because when I go to the Father I will send you another help. I want you to say I want you to say thank you God for the help of the Spirit of God. I want you to say thank you God for the Spirit of God that you have given us. I want you to say thank you Jesus for the Spirit of grace. I want you to say thank you Jesus for my life. I want you to say thank you Jesus because I know I am coming back again because I will overtake my enemies because I will recover all. Oh, I want you to say thank you Jesus. I will, I'm recovering my marriage. I'm recovering my job. I'm recovering my business. I'm recovering my health. I'm recovering my family. I'm recovering everything that I've lost to the enemy. I want you to say thank you, Jesus, for the power of speed. I want you to say thank you, Jesus, for the grace of speed. Because I'm I, I, I will rise with speed. I will rise with speed and I will overtake my enemies. I want you to say thank you, Jesus, that my children are, 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 they are, they are being restored once again. I want you to say thank you, Jesus, for my life, that my life will not betray you. I want you to say thank you, Jesus, for the strength. I want you to say, I want you to say thank you, Jesus, that you are my strength, that your strength is made manifest in my weaknesses. I want you to say thank you, Jesus, for the grace to rise again. I want you to say thank you, Jesus. I know things are not okay with me right now, but I believe that they are turning around for my good. Joseph said this to his brothers, you made it for evil, but God has turned it for my good. When they when 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 the enemy is fighting you what he has in his mind is to, is to destroy you. What he has in his mind is to, is, to, is to kill you. But I want you to say thank you, Jesus, that you came to give love and to give it in abundance. I'll live my life in abundance. I'll live my family in abundance. Abundance. I'll live health in abundance. I'll live joy in abundance. I'll live happiness in abundance. I prophesy over my life. I want you to prophesy over your life. I want you to speak abundance in every area of your life. I want you to pray and I want you to believe it. That God is turning that situation that is hopeless. That God is giving you the power to, to pursue. That God is giving you the power to pursue and to overtake. You are going to overtake. You are going to overtake your enemies. Those that have said you are going to, you, are, you amount to nothing. The Lord is giving you the strength to rise up. You are going to rise up. You are going to rise up. The devil knew one thing. He knew that the only source of his strength was God. And he entered into prayer. And he began to inquire from God. And as he inquired from God, God gave him assurance that pursue you are going to overtake and you are going to recover. Tonight, I don't know whom I'm, to, I'm talking to today, but I just want someone to know that God loves you so much to see you fail. You will not fail. You will not fail. You know, according to God, the pit that Joseph was thrown into was actually favor. Because without that pit, Joseph was never going to end up in Egypt. And there was, and there was a need for him to be in Egypt. And without the, the, the wife of Potiphar, he was not going to have access to the, to, 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 to the king of that land. But when all the intention of the enemy was to, to frustrate and they made a disadvantage. But God used the same thing that was meant to destroy him, to give him advantage, to usher him into his destiny. Whatever you are going through right now, I prophesy over your life. May it be tainted for your good. May it be used for your advantage. I know things are not well with you, but I pray today, whatever is being used against you, whatever the devil has done to you, as we pray today, may the same thing be used for your advantage. May the same pit that they've dug for you, may the same pit be used to catapult you to the next level. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I thank you for each and everyone that is watching right now. I pray, Father, what Whatever is wrong in their life, may you use it, Lord God, for your glory. May you glory in the name of Jesus. I turn around every situation. I turn around every situation in your life that the enemy is using to disadvantage you. Every accusation, every conspiracy against your destiny. May the Lord use it to may the Lord use it for your advantage. In the name of Jesus. 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray for that body that is not feeling well. I pray for that body that is not feeling well. I command healing from the crown of your head to the soles of your to the soles of your feet. I command a turn around of your life. I command your life to, to turn around. I pray for you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that is not well. That job, the boss that is on your neck. I pray that the Lord will use him. That the Lord, whatever the devil has used against you, may the Lord use it. Kabaradudu. I want you to speak. I want you to talk to. I want you to talk to God tonight. I want you to talk to God tonight. I want you to prophesy over your life. I want you to prophesy over your life. I want you to speak light in that life. I want you to prophesy light in that life. I want you to prophesy life in that life. I want you to prophesy health. I want you to prophesy breakthrough. I want you to prophesy favor upon your head. I want you to call your glory back from the from the from the from the shrine of the enemy. I want you to prophesy over your head that your head do not lack oil. I pray for you. Your head do not lack oil. I pray for you. Your head do not lack oil. In the name of Jesus. Someone is saying, saying, Men of God, I've been I've been here for a long time, but nothing has been moving in my life. I come to prophesy in your life today. May the Lord open a door for you in that situation. May the Lord open a door in that situation that seems impossible. May this may this broadcast bring a change in your life. May, may this broadcast turn around your life. Jesus. No, I, 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 I am so happy when I minister to people because I am seeing a lot of results. Sometimes it's not about so many people, but sometimes it's about that life that God is going to change, to change and to transform. I manakarida bahaso, I kababara dagaga, E malo vahazija ali kababade. I pray for each. If you are sick, I just want you to lay your hand on the place that on, on that part of your body that is not well. I release grace of healing right now. I heal your body. I heal your body right now. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And I'm praying right now, and I hear this instruction. I want you right now, you are watching me right now. I want you to hold your bank card or your wallet, your bank wallet, preferably your bank card, preferably your credit card, your credit card. I want you to hold it right now. I want to prophesy over that bank card right now. I want to prophesy over that bank card right now. I want to prophesy over that bank card right now. I said, hold your bank card, your credit card, or your wallet, but preferably your wallet, your bank card. Preferably your bank card. Preferably your bank card. I'm praying, and the Lord says, I want you to pray for people. I want you to pray for people in the area of finances. May not never run away from finances. Money answers every all things. The reason why some of you that are watching me right now, you are done, you are downcast, is because you do not have money. You don't have money, and this is why you think you need, you, you things are not well, and you are you feel you are weak. It is well, most of those reasons they have to do with finances. So I want to pray for someone. I want you to, I want you to hold your your credit card. I want you to hold your credit card right now, and I want you to connect to this prayer, and I'm going to be praying for you right now. Kalabada go salabaha, Niko Parade Koski Baba Bado Sakina and Talabahaso. I want you to be honest. Some of you, there are those that are coming to my inboxes. Vasinga de Vasinga de those who don't want their testimonies to be publicized. I want to make sure you do yourself. 
we are I'm receiving a lot of testimonies. We, just, we only few we only post a few at my page. So, so some are, are, are very private and could confidential, but I don't want you to keep a testimony. I'm about to pray for that credit card right now. And money is about to locate you. Money is about to locate that credit card. Money is about to locate that credit card. And I want you to share your testimony. Because on by Monday, there's gonna be in there's gonna be money in that credit card. I prophesy over your card. You are holding it right now, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray. I release money in that credit card. I release money into that bank account. I release money into that bank account. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. May money enter, 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 enter into people's account. Now, 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 in the name of Jesus. Sell debts. I'm seeing someone you're struggling with debts. You are struggling with debts. You are struggling with debts. Every month that is coming into your account, every month that is coming into your account, what happens with that money? It is it is eaten. The bank takes it because you owe the bank so much money that every month that is having access to that account, they are taking praying for you right now. I believe in this, I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles and I believe in the raw power of God. And I believe that wherever, irregardless of wherever you are, the Lord, we can touch you. Because I have heard all the testimonies that I'm sending and I'm posting on my, on my page. All those people, I've never met them. I don't know them. They are only people that are met online. So, irregardless of where you are, I just want you to believe the grace is already here. I pray right now in the name of Jesus. I release money into that account. I release money into that account. In the mighty name of Jesus, that bank card in your phone right now. Man alert in your phone right now. In the name of Jesus. You do not know how to pay your bills. You don't know how you are going to settle your bills. But I prophesy by the mind, by the oil upon my head. Let money enter. Let the man that you need for your bills, let the man that you need to settle what you want to settle, may a provision be made for you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I release the oil of breakthroughs upon your life money into your accounts money into your accounts and i cancel debts there are people that are going to receive debt cancellation there are people that are going to receive debt cancellation i cancel your debts it's a it's a spirit of poverty that always leads you into debt you are always in bad debt you are always in debt that the work for is paying a debt somewhere. That spirit, that spirit of unprogress, that spirit of poverty. I take it away from you. I break it out. I break it upon your neck. I break it. I remove it from your life. In the name of Jesus. Kabaradu shakadaga imana grosaliba asuf rekos. I want to pray for someone right now. You are downcast. You are so down, you feel, you feel everything around you is making noise, everything around you is irritating you. I just want you to connect right now. I'm praying for you. Father, locate that person. Locate that woman. Locate that man. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray for strength. I pray for strength. I pray for strength. I pray for strength. In the name of Jesus, the grace to rise up. The grace. In Jesus name amen I said those that have no you have, you have been struggling to give birth you have been struggling to give birth I want you to call me at the end of this session you have been struggling to give birth you went to the doctors they told you your sperm count is low they told you your your mama ma, ma, there are few mushroom they told you a lot of stories but you are believing God for a child. You are believing God for the fruit of the womb. I want you to call me.
but you call me at the end of the session when I'm done with this session I want you to call me or you have got one child and having the having the other child is a is a, is a, is a problem is becoming a problem I want you to call I want you to call I will talk to you and you will testify God is in the business of doing great miracles and I thank God for what he's doing through my life to many lives I thank God that we are affecting thousands of people we are reaching out to thousands of people and we want to thank I want to take this opportunity to um, and to thank even this man for allowing us to have this platform where we are reaching out to so many souls true greatness and true true riches is uh, is not really in the amount in the US dollars that are in your account in the in the in the in the job that you have it is in the lives that you are transforming in true greatness or true happiness is when you can put a smile on another person so make it your responsibility make it make it your goal that at least a day you put a smile on someone's on someone's face make it a make it a blessing make it make it a goal that you bless a soul don't be a case don't be a source of affliction to others but be a blessing the lord says i will bless you and whosoever shall bless you whosoever shall bless you shall be blessed and whosoever shall case you shall be cased i pray for you today that whatever you are believing god for may god do it for you uh, as I mentioned last night with an all night and today I know so a very busy day but I was tired but I said no let me just people are expecting me some are expecting me to come let me just go there and encourage a soul that is downcast if you are here you are downcast I pray for you may God give you the strength that you need may God give you the grace that you need may God, may God open the doors that you have been praying for whatever you have been believing God for I pray, I pray and I pray on your behalf. I superimpose it on your life. May God do it for you with speed. In Jesus' name, I command every frustration, disappointment to be taken away from your life. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God protect you. May God fight for you. May God contend with you. May God richly bless you and protect you from the arrows that fly in the night. From the arrows that fly in the night. In the name of Jesus, you are not going to die any declaration by the enemy of your life that you are not going to see the end of this year. I can't, I make a counter declaration as long as you are under the sound of my voice, even though you are sick, even though there's no hope for you, <coughs> you are not going to die. You are not going to die prematurely. In the name of Jesus, any satanic register that has got your name, I remove you from that register. Any prophecy over your life that you are not going to make. I remove that prophecy. I make I count it. I overturn it. I override it by 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 have by divine authority. I override it in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Any case that is upon your head, I pray for you. May God remove it and may God give you the strength you need in Jesus' name. I'll just give people, I'll just let this time for people to call. You, 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 you want the man of God to pray for you. You are saying, man of God, I want you to pray for me. I want you to take this time to pray. Last time I said, I'm only going to give the five. Later I called, said, oh, man of God, we were driving. So we had to save your now. So let me just give this time to people who want to call. That's my number. I have put my number there. I have put my number there. You can call. You can call. I want to pray with you. I just want to pray with you, and 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 seek for grace, so that your situation, God will turn it around for your good, for your good. Yes. So feel free come in. You can call right now. I will be picking your calls and just praying for you, and just. But those with the issue of uh, the issue of the fruit of the womb, please you call me after. You call me after the, 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 the life. You call me after the life. You are having difficulties with having the next, the, 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 with, the, with giving birth or even having the second child. You have had one child, but you want another child. But it's been difficult, it's becoming difficult for you. I want you to call, right? I want you to call after the life. But if there's, if it is anything else,
please you can call you can call now you can call now ye la kabada gada gada le kabada bada bada gada le pe 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 boso bada ye kozo brede ake la gada baba le kabada baba 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 le kabada baba 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 le kabada baba 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 tala gada 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 Mm 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 mm. Li mana hasufa da hadi shaliga baba. Rekora dina ambraduski baba 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 baba. Rete te te go shala baba. Li kobra tu sele te 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 te. Li kobere te 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 te. I mana kabara dus kalina anta la baba bose. Father, we pray. We thank you. Majita Mahad, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you, Spirit of God. Father, I bless you. Thank you for the lives of these people that you are turning around their situations. They are believing you for miracles. They are believing you for breakthroughs. They are believing you for marriages. They are believing you for their health. They are believing you, oh God, for mortgages. They are believing God for different things father as i prayed i prayed for their credit cards i prayed oh god for cancellation of dates i prayed oh god for strength and encouragement i prayed oh god that their situation will come to an end in the name of jesus be blessed